Welcome, viewers, to our new and exciting series that's all set to enlighten and prepare you for the unexpected. Ever wondered how to navigate through unexpected crises in the city? Well, the key lies in urban survival, a concept that's as unique as it is necessary. Urban survival is about understanding and adapting to the concrete jungle that we call home. It's different from wilderness survival because the challenges are distinct. In the city, you're not wrestling with Mother Nature, but rather tackling man-made hurdles such as blackouts, floods, or even societal unrest. Being prepared in an urban environment is crucial because cities are complex and dynamic, and when go south they can spiral quickly. Whether it's a power outage that plunges your entire block into darkness, or a sudden flood that turns your street into a river, being ready for these scenarios can make a world of difference. Understanding the urban environment is the first step to being prepared, so stick around because we're just getting started on this journey towards urban readiness. Urban environments present unique challenges and risks. These are not your typical wilderness survival scenarios. Instead, we're talking about situations where the hustle and bustle of city life can turn into a survival situation faster than you can say blackout. Take power outages, for example. They can happen anytime, anywhere, and in a city the effects can be far-reaching. Imagine a whole city plunged into darkness. Elevators stop working, traffic lights go out causing chaos on the roads, and suddenly the convenience of your high-rise apartment becomes a 20-story descent in the dark. Another scenario to consider is flooding. In cities with inadequate drainage systems, a heavy downpour can quickly turn streets into rivers. Suddenly, getting from point A to point B becomes a test of your swimming abilities. Then there's the risk of civil unrest, economic crises, and even pandemics. In a city these situations can escalate quickly due to the high population density. The close quarters and reliance on public services can turn simple tasks like getting groceries into a challenge. Urban environments also present unique challenges in terms of navigation and escape. With labyrinth-like streets and heavy traffic, getting out of a city during a crisis can be a daunting task. But fear not. Understanding these risks is the first step towards preparing for them. It's about thinking ahead anticipating these scenarios and having a plan in place. Because, remember, being aware of these risks is the key to preparing for them. Now that we understand the risks, let's delve into how to prepare for them. The essence of urban preparedness lies in three key principles, awareness, adaptability, and preparation. Awareness is your first line of defense. It's about being in tune with your surroundings and being able to identify potential hazards. Are there any construction sites near your home that could pose a risk? What about flood zones? Being aware also extends to keeping an eye on the news and being informed about what's happening in your city. Adaptability, on the other hand, is about being flexible and ready to adjust your plans as situations change. In an urban environment, conditions can change in a blink. A peaceful protest could escalate into a riot, or a minor power outage could evolve into a citywide blackout. The ability to quickly shift your strategy in response to these changes could mean the difference between a close call and a disaster. The third principle, preparation, is perhaps the most vital. It's about taking proactive steps to equip yourself for potential crises. This could mean assembling an urban survival kit, creating a family emergency plan, or even something as simple as always having a charged phone and some cash on hand. But here's the catch. These principles aren't just about actions. They're about adopting a new mindset. Urban survival isn't a one-time event, it's a continuous process. It's about living with a heightened sense of vigilance and a readiness to face whatever comes your way. So take a moment to reflect. How aware are you of the potential hazards in your city? How adaptable are you when things don't go as planned? And most importantly, how prepared are you for an unexpected crisis? Remember, the goal isn't to live in fear, but rather to live with a sense of preparedness to be ready not just to survive, but to thrive in the face of adversity. These principles form the foundation of urban preparedness. So, how does one get started with urban prepping? Well, the first step is to recognize that preparation is key. It's about making small, consistent changes to your daily routine that can greatly enhance your safety and readiness at home. Start by looking at your living space through the lens of preparedness. Ask yourself, how can I use my space more effectively? Can I store extra water and non-perishable food items? Do I have a safe, accessible location for a first aid kit? These are fundamental questions that can guide you towards preparedness. Next, consider your daily habits. Simple actions like always having a flashlight handy or keeping your phone charged can make a significant difference in an emergency. 
Also think about your skills. Do you know basic first aid? Can you fix a leaky pipe? If not, it might be time to learn. These skills not only make you more self-reliant, but also valuable in a crisis scenario. And let's not forget about planning. Having a plan in place for different emergencies can help you react faster and more effectively when time is of the essence. Discuss these plans with your family or housemates to ensure everyone is on the same page. Finally, remember that prepping is a journey, not a destination. It's about constant learning, adapting, and improving. Starting with these steps, you're on your way to becoming an urban prepper. A survival kit is a prepper's best friend. It's the cornerstone of preparedness, a compact collection of vital supplies that can get you through tough times. So, what exactly goes into an urban survival kit? Let's break it down. First and foremost, you'll need water purification tools. In an urban crisis, clean water can become scarce or even non-existent. A portable water purifier can be a lifesaver, literally. And don't forget a durable, reusable water bottle to carry your purified water. Next up, food. Pack high-energy, non-perishable food items. Think energy bars, canned goods, and MREs, meals ready to eat. Remember, the goal here is to maintain your energy levels, not to create a gourmet dining experience. Now let's talk shelter. A compact, lightweight emergency blanket, often referred to as a space blanket, can provide warmth and protection from the elements. And a small, sturdy tarp can serve as a makeshift shelter if needed. Communication is crucial in a crisis. A hand crank radio can keep you informed of any updates or instructions from local authorities. And a fully charged power bank can keep your cell phone operational. Of course, we can't forget about first aid. A basic first aid kit, bandages, antiseptic wipes, tweezers, medical tape, can be a game changer in a survival situation. And finally, tools. A multi-tool is an urban prepper's Swiss army knife. It's compact, versatile, and can tackle a myriad of tasks. A flashlight is another must-have. Opt for a hand crank model to avoid reliance on batteries. Remember the contents of your survival kit should be tailored to your personal needs and the unique challenges of your urban environment. Each item should be portable and versatile, able to serve multiple purposes in a pinch. And there you have it. The key components of an urban survival kit. It's more than just a bag of supplies. It's a lifeline, a beacon of hope in the face of hardship. A well-stocked survival kit could be the difference between life and death. So pack wisely and stay prepared. Prepping isn't a solo journey. It's easy to think of survival as an individual endeavor, but the truth is we're far stronger when we band together. Building a network with fellow urban preppers is more than just a social gathering. It's a strategic move. When the unexpected hits, being part of a community means having a support system in place, a network of people who understand your mindset and share your goals. You can pool resources, share knowledge, and even divide responsibilities in times of crisis, making survival more manageable. It's about more than just physical resources though. Having a community provides emotional support and shared motivation, elements that are just as crucial in tough times. In essence, your community can be your biggest asset in a crisis. So, reach out, connect, and build those relationships. Because in the end, whether we're talking about prepping or life in general, together, we are stronger. We've covered a lot in this episode. We've learned why urban prepping is essential, understood the unique risks in urban environments, and explored the principles of urban preparedness. We've also taken our first steps towards getting started with urban prepping, and discussed the key components of an urban survival kit. Not to forget, we've emphasized the value of community in times of crisis. Now we'd love to hear from you. Share your own urban prepping tips and tell us what you'd like to see in future episodes. Your input helps shape this series, making it a valuable resource for all urban preppers out there. Remember, this is just the beginning. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more in-depth discussions in our upcoming episodes. Stay tuned for episode number two, where we'll dive into building your urban survival kit. Your preparedness journey has just begun, and we're here to guide you every step of the way.